One of the most talked about possibilities of the AI era is the ability to create virtual copies of ourselves. Now, with a combination of high-powered PCs, AI software, and decent mics and cameras, you can create an AI video clone that copies your face and your voice and can say just about anything you can type into a script. Now, I've been fascinated by this possibility for a while now, especially as someone who spends a decent amount of time in front of a camera. But I always felt the technology was not quite there yet for consumers. Everything was either too complex, too expensive, or too unrealistic. But now, I've put together a way to create your own AI video clone, and you can get started for under 50 bucks. To do this, we're gonna capture some video footage of me, we're also gonna get some audio of me, and in both cases, we want the captured media to be as high quality as possible. Using the rear camera on your phone set to capture at 4K works great, and if you have access to a DSLR or higher quality cinema camera, even better. Besides good resolution, good lighting is also very important. Now, I use a Logitech Yeti for audio, and the cleaner the audio, the better. There are a lot of desktop podcast mics that are gonna be great for capturing your audio. For the first part of my AI video clone, I'm using an app called HeyGen. The nice thing is that all you need to get started with HeyGen is a clean, well-lit, high-res video of yourself talking. Get that video file and upload it into HeyGen. Now I've got a video version of myself, and you can see the previous versions I've done. One of them was shot with the front camera on my phone in not so great lighting. Your instant avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. And then another one was shot with the rear camera on my phone at high quality settings and with really good natural light, and you can see that's much better. Hey, Dan Ackerman, your instant avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. And now for my third version, I'm shooting here in the Micro Center Studios. It's a professional studio environment, and we've got a DSLR going, and we've got studio lights. It's a highly controlled environment, gonna make for great video. Now the AI avatar I made with HeyGen includes using the video I uploaded to clone my face and also my voice. It's using the audio from that recording. And that voice is okay, but it's not amazing. So I turned to one of the best known voice cloning AI apps called Eleven Labs. There you can upload long voice samples, and again, the cleaner the better, and then turn any script into audio spoken word. I used some audio rips from some of my own videos. I used excerpts from the audiobook version I recorded of my book, The Tetris Effect, which was done in a professional voiceover studio. And again, it's a process very similar to HeyGen, and you end up with a voice that sounds pretty decent and has some nice controls for altering its presentation. Although if you mess with the control sliders too much, you start to get some artifacts. One of the most talked about possibilities of the AI era is the ability to create virtual copies of ourselves. Now, with a combination of high-powered PCs, AI software, and decent mics and cameras, you can create an AI video clone that copies your face and voice and can say just about anything you can type into a script. But how do I use my Eleven Labs voice with my HeyGen video? The nice thing is I can sync them together by hooking the Eleven Labs voice into the HeyGen system via an API key. Well then what? Once we have this all put together, what are we gonna do with it? Well, for example, if I wanted to make a video version of an article I wrote for Micro Center News, I would take that text, import it into HeyGen, then choose the voice from Eleven Labs. I give it a few sample listens, I change the text where it's needed by adding pauses, fixing pronunciation, maybe changing some awkward wording that works on the page but doesn't work out loud, and then I let it process and see what the results are. I like to leave a little blank space at the end of the timeline of the clip so the video doesn't just abruptly cut off once I get the last word out, and there my avatar will just kind of hang out for a couple of seconds and move around because it's using the nonverbal cues you gave it during your original recording. So now I'm here with Virtual Dan, and I am gonna ask him some questions, and those answers are gonna come from the AI chatbot I programmed to think and talk like me, and it's gonna use my video clone and voice clone to put all that together. How big of a PSU do I need in order to run an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU? So, you're building a new gaming rig and thinking about the power supply for that RTX 4090? Good call. Powering a beast like that takes some serious wattage. The RTX 4090 itself pulls around 450 watts, so NVIDIA recommends you go with at least an 850 watt PSU. But if you've got a powerful CPU in there, like a high-end Intel Core i9 or Ryzen 9, plus maybe some extra drives and fans, I'd bump that up to 1000 watts or more just to be safe. 
We're getting into the big end of year holiday gaming season. What game should I be playing right now? Should I be playing Star Wars Outlaws or should I be playing Space Marine 2? If you're a fan of open world exploration with a bit of that classic Star Wars charm, then Star Wars Outlaws might be the one to go with. It's set in the gritty underworld between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, so you're not dealing with Jedi or Sith. Just a regular person navigating a dangerous galaxy. It's got that smuggler vibe with heists, space battles, and some great visuals. If you're someone who loves diving into a narrative-driven experience with lots of freedom to explore, this is your game. On the flip side, if you're all about pure action and crave that intense, over-the-top combat, then Space Marine 2 could be more up your alley. So remember when I said we could put all this together for under 50 bucks? Well, here's what I'm talking about. Most of these are subscription services. So to subscribe to HeyGen for a month where you can try it out, see if you like it, maybe make a whole bunch of videos, uh, you can get the level where you can make three AI clones of yourself and that's $29 a month. For 11 Labs, you can actually start off with just $5 a month, which should get you about 30 minutes of audio and you can trade up to higher tiers if you need more than that. And I use ChatGPT to make my custom GPT. You can use the free version of ChatGPT or you can subscribe to one of their premium levels. Uh, but that you can put a lot of information into and really customize the responses so that it at least kind of sort of sounds like the person you're talking to. In this case, I'm talking to myself. And if you want to follow along with everything I've done here today, I've got a companion article up on microcenter.news where you can read along even while you watch the video. And it's got step-by-step, -step, it's got examples, it's got images, it's got all the links that you need to get started making a virtual version of you.